electromagnetic spectrum or what is electromagnetic spectrum let's see now we know that visible light or it has different seven colors where the smallest wavelength is violet or 400 nanometer and longest wavelength of visible light is 800 nanometer now if you imagine or if you see the wavelength of light which is less than 400 nanometer so those light we cannot see where ultraviolet uh, x-rays gamma rays these are the wavelength of light or invisible light we cannot see these are less than 400 nanometer wavelength whereas if the wavelength of light becomes more than 800 nanometer then those lights also we cannot see where infrared microwave radio waves these are the in the invisible light we cannot see more than 800 nanometer wavelength now if you see all these wavelength of light now gamma rays x-rays ultraviolet visible infrared microwave radio waves so these are the band of different wavelengths from smallest to longest this band of wavelength or band of light these are called electromagnetic spectrum therefore all these are the same type of waves or all these are called together electro electromagnetic waves now they have common properties so electromagnetic waves they do not record any material medium for their propagation and number two they will travel same speed in vacuum or air uh, which is 3 to 10 power 8 meter per second and number three they will exhibit or they will show the reflections and refractions or all the electromagnetic waves shows these properties number four these waves or electromagnetic waves are not deflected by electric and magnetic fields and finally the five these waves are transverse in nature so these are the wavelength of light or different wavelength of light which is called together electromagnetic wave from smallest to longest wavelength.